Hello, hello. Hi, Wendy, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. I'm fine, thanks, and you? I am doing good. How was your day? Relax. It was very really bien. Relax. Today was very well, it's relaxed. Boring. It's boring, my, my work today. Oh, uh, really? Yes. You didn't have sí. anything to do. Yes. Lunes, así como, uh, demasiado. No, no agarra todavía. Bueno. <laughs> yeah, it, it is still, but it is, uh, in some cases, it's kind of scary that the, the days are very calm and you say like, hmm. What is going on in here? You say, it's like, see. yeah, it is like, okay, is it good, bad? Where are the other ones? What's going on? <laughs> am, am I okay here? Right? And and, and yes. you feel you feel like, hmm, what's <laughs> happening? Right? It, it's kind yes. of a strange. It's kind of a strange when the days are too calm or too nice. It, it's pretty like, hmm, something is going on in here. <laughs> Yeah, in some cases it's very tricky when the days are tricky. yes what quiz tricky tricky yes. is like uh tramposo tricky ah. means tramposo so those are called tricky days son los días tramposos así que mm, hay demasiada ah. paja en este día ¿Qué está pasando? <laughs> yeah okay. you, you you never know and you are like hmm, hey what's going <laughs> on right and they say like hey did you finish Yes, everything, <laughs> but I don't know why. It is very curious. Yes. Okay, because but I am happy that your day was very relaxed. And your weekend, weekend, um, my weekend, wait, last my, weekend, brother. My weekend, yes, my weekend was very oh. busy, because as I have to work Saturday and Sunday, no, oh. it's very busy. Yes, you, you, no, teach. In the weekend, well, I I am in charge of of an academy. I am the principal, oh. and uh, I have to attend the academy during the week oh. and the weekend. So, but the weekend mm -hmm. is like the hardest day because you have to be over the students and the teachers and everything. So yes, it's it's different. But I I really love teaching. So um, yeah, I I I, I imagine. I imagine. Only. Imagine I don't like your career. Really? You don't like it? Why? My mother is teacher. My sister is teacher. My cousin is teacher. My family. Um, much, very much. Many, many, many teacher. Many, many of them are teachers. Oh, really? Yes. So, but you didn't, yes. you didn't like that one. Yes, no. You, you didn't like that only career. doctor, only um I am accountant and that's it. They they told us teach. Oh really? Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> and they yes. are in different in different fields. Si, 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 si. They do you have different. any any English teacher? I not understand. Repeat slowly, do you, please. Do you have any English teacher in your family? Ah, uh, my sister is oh. is is teacher English. It's English an, teacher. In, it's an English teacher. Yes, oh. English teacher. And my where, sister. Where does she work? In Lourdes Colon. No, no, no classes así como usted. Oh, es docente de gobierno. Uh -huh. Hey, that's nice. So she's a, a public school uh -huh. teacher. Hello, Jocelyn. Yes. How are you? Yes. Hello, teacher. Fine, and you? I am doing great. Very happy. And all your friends? We are waiting for your friends. And they never yeah. appear. I am going to send them a message. Where are you? We are here waiting for you. I am going yes. to say. Seven minutes. Yeah, it's like, where, where are you? Huh? It's like, uh -huh. so mama me dijo que ya venía. <laughs> okay. Teacher, uh, yes. uh, the um, finish um, the module Tuesday on Monday. Uh -huh. 
No. ¿Cuándo finalizamos? Monday. Monday. Today. Yeah. No, 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 no. Next 20. Monday. Next Monday. Mm -hmm. Because uh, because on Wednesday we don't have classes. Ah, uh, yes. That's yes. why. Uh, yeah, yes. I am going to give you free. Mm -hmm. Because I will be celebrating. Independ Independence Day. I will be celebrating my birthday that day. <laughs> hey, really? You yes. really? Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. It, it's Happy on, birthday. Thank you very much. Uh, it's on, on Independence Day. <laughs> <laughs> El himno. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. The, 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 my husband says that, that he's not going to play Las Mañanitas for me. He's going to play the national anthem for me uh, <laughs> yeah and he's not going to say happy birthday if not la, la oración a la bandera and you and you kidding me are you kidding me come on, <laughs> come <laughs> yeah, on he's, he's going to bring me one of these cakes from la lido right that has this that national flag <laughs> on top yes yeah i okay. i always i always say that to my mother that i am very how old are you how old do you think i am Ah, you say uh, the other day. The other day, I told you. 38. No, 36. 36. 36. Yeah, I will be 37 this Wednesday. Ah, two years only. <laughs> only two years. <laughs> only two years, yes. Hello, Ruth. Welcome. Hello. Okay, okay, ya tenemos quorum, ya. Yeah. We can start. <laughs> okay, good. So, uh, welcome, Ruth. Hey, good. Adela is here as well. And Mr. Ivan, we're going to pull Ivan from the ear, huh? Se nos pierde. And Paola, too. Where are you, Paola? Okay, so we are five out of ten, so we can go over this one. In the previous class, we were talking about adverbs of frequency, right? That was the last topic yes. that we had in the previous session, right? Adverbs of frequency. This is what we were talking about. I'm going to just go over this one here. Okay. Do you remember this topic? So, so. What do you remember from the sentences, right? We were talking that the adverbs of frequency are the ones that tell you how frequently you do different activities, right? Like, for example, I always, that it's 100%, I usually, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, and I never, right? This is for frecuencia de actividades. And we have two types of questions, right? We have questions like, do you ever, like alguna vez? Or the other form of question that we have is, how often, how often do you? How often do you, it's another starting point of a question. They say like, how often do you? How often do you eat? Pupusas, pupusas, yeah. For dinner, how often do you eat pupusas for dinner? ¿Qué tan seguido? How often do you eat pupusas for dinner? What will be your answer? I always, I usually, I never, I hardly ever, or I sometimes. How often do you eat pupusas for dinner? What will be your answer? Hello, Paola. Uh -huh. I often, I often eat pupusas for dinner. Very good. That's a complete question. That's a complete answer, right? In that case, how often do you eat pupusas for dinner, Wendy? I usually eat 
pupusas for dinner. Very good. Ruth, how often do you eat pupusas for dinner? Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Sometimes I eat pupusas for dinner. Paola, how often do you eat pupusas for dinner? The microphone, Paola, the microphone. I sometimes eat pupusas for dinner. Very good job. So that is the form of question. If I have another question here, how often, how often do you, how often do you clean your bedroom? How often do you clean your bedroom? I usually clean my bedroom. I usually clean my bedroom, you say, uh huh? How often do you clean your bedroom? I usually. I clean my bedroom every week. So you say, I, I clean my bedroom every week. Every week. Okay. okay, when you use an, a specific time, that it's a very good form of an example, because when you have the adverbs of a specific frequency, you use them after the subject. But if you are going to, to use an, a specific time phrase, you are going to use it at the end of the sentence. For example, how often do you clean your bedroom? You can say, I clean my bedroom every day every day okay if you have an a specific in a specific day or in a specific time so you say i clean my bedroom every day right not use the adverb you don't frequency. use an adverb of frequency because you cannot say i always clean my bedroom every day sino sería yo siempre limpio mi cuarto cada día that's something that we use in Spanish and that's incorrect. Because if you say, I, yo siempre limpio mi cuarto, es que todo el tiempo. Not only one day or two days, right? Or you say, I do the laundry, I do the laundry every Saturday. Okay, I do the laundry every Saturday, hago como toda la lavandería, every Saturday. Cada sábado. Or you can say, I sometimes do the laundry. Okay? And you have the two options of answers. But the adverbs of a specific frequency go at the end. Okay? ¿Cuáles son los, adver los adverbios de frecuencia definitiva? Every day, every Saturday, every Christmas, every December every morning, every afternoon, you have a specific time, right? If I tell you always, usually, they are indefinite frequency, okay? Porque tenemos frecuencia indefinida. No sabemos qué tanto sería ese usually, qué tanto sería ese often, pero si yo le digo every Saturday, ahí sí tenemos una frecuencia marcada, okay? Every Monday, every morning, Right, something that you do in a specific days. Hey, Adela, you could enter. That's very nice. Hello, pero creo que está un poco lento porque la veo así como robot. <laughs> okay, Adela. No, así me estoy moviendo. <laughs> okay, sí, quizás le está, le está fallando mucho su, su conexión. Pero espero que todo funcione bien. So, th those are the difference, right? And I am going to mark them here maybe in uh, in the next chart, right? The adverse of a specific frequency, you have on a specific day. I am going to send you some examples in the chat. You have every day, every morning, every night, right? Those are a specific frequency. Uh, on Saturdays, right on december or you can say every two days every two days so those are a specific frequency 
uh, every hour. Right? Every hour. Every eh, Monday. Okay. Todos esos ejemplos que les mando en el chat siempre se usarían al final de la oración. Right? I clean my bedroom every two days, every Monday, on Saturdays, every December, on Christmas. Right? They go at the end. Pero todos los adverbios de frecuencia van después del sujeto. I always, she never, she often, right? I usually, we hardly ever, right? These ones go after the subject, okay? So based on this one, we created different examples in the previous class. I think you remember, right? The examples that we created in the previous class. ¿Se recuerdan que hicimos este ejercicio? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. What was the sentences that we found here? Say, what do you usually have for breakfast? What was the next question? Well, I. Oster. I often. 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 Can you read? Uh -huh. What is the next one? Can you help me to read it? Do you. Do you. Do you ever eat breakfast at work? Do you eat ever breakfast at work? Do you ever eat breakfast at work? I sometimes. So you say I sometimes have, uh, have breakfast. I sometimes have breakfast at my desk. Good. What is the next one? Do you okay. usually eat rice for right. breakfast? Do you usually eat rice for breakfast? No, I. I, I hardly day. ever hardly have, ever rice. Have, have rice. I hardly ever have rice, right? Have rice. Good. Based on these examples, I need you to give me one example about your life using any of the adverbs of frequency that you have here. Give me one example about your life. I can tell you, I always drink coffee for breakfast. Give me one example. Give me one original example. I sometimes drink tea for lunch. I sometimes drink tea for lunch. Good. Any other example? I sometimes eat rice for lunch. Very good. Another one. I sometimes I sometimes run run in the morning. I sometimes run in the morning for hobby or because you are late. For hobby. For hobby. Good, good. I run because I am late. <laughs> Wendy, what is your sentence? I never drink milk for for uh, breakfast. Breakfast. Okay, yes. I never drink milk for breakfast. Adela. Uh, I always eat banana uh, for lunch. I always eat banana for lunch. Good. Claudia. I always um, I always the prepare for lunch in the Sunday. You always prepare what? Ah. Yes. What do you prepare for lunch on Sundays? Chicken. Um, what? Ah, hen. Gallina. Yes. Okay, hen. <laughs> hen. Poor mm -hmm. hens. Okay. And Ruth, what is your sentence? I always I always I play with my darling. I always play with my daughter. Good, very good. So, based on this one, right, we have the adverse of frequency, right, the different examples. And here I am going to share 
the example that we are going to work together. Here I have it. In this example, we're going to work on it, right, for sure. And we have a specific sentences, right? And here we have an example. Americans put cream in their coffee often. And it says, Americans often put cream in their coffee. Good. So what about the next one? What is the next example that we have? And it says, some people in Korea eat pickled vegetable for breakfast. And you have to use always. How do you create this one? How do you create this sentence? I, I did some of the some uh -huh. um, people, eat. some people right people no some people some in people korea always eat always vegetables for always breakfast always eat pickled vegetables for breakfast good seldom seldom is raras veces in china people put sugar in their tea in china seldom in china sugar sugar in, in their tea uh -huh. Ok, si los adverbios de frecuencia van después del sujeto, ¿cuál es el sujeto en esta oración? People. 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 So, they say, in China, people seldom put sugar good. in their tea. Good, very good. Let's go one with question. the next one. One question, please. Yes. Seldom is not the same sometimes. No. Seldom is ah, okay. raras veces. Rara veces. Okay. This is a new one, right? Rara veces. Okay. What about the next one? In England, people put milk in their tea, usually. In England, people usually put milk in their tea. Because people is the subject of the sentence, right? In England, people usually put milk in their tea. Very good job. The next one, it says, in Japan, people have fish for breakfast. In Japan, people sometimes have fish for breakfast. Very good job. In Japan, people sometimes have fish for breakfast. What about the next one? Brazilians often make, make drinks with fruit. With fruit. Okay. Brazilians often make drinks with fruit. And what about the next one? In Canada, In Canada, Canada people, people hardly ever have salad, have salad, have salad, 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 salad for breakfast. For breakfast. For breakfast. Very good. In okay. Canada, people hardly ever have salad for breakfast. And the last one, some Mexicans eat pasta, yeah. never. Some Mexicans, some Mexicans never, never eat pasta. pasta. Some Mexicans never eat pasta, right? And that's the way you do it. Some Mexicans never eat pasta. Also some Salvadorians, right? Some Salvadorians uh, almost never do it. So what about the next one? I am going to share the last example for this topic with you. I am going to go here. Let me see. And I have it right here. Okay. So the last example that we have here. Never, hardly ever, sometimes, often, usually, and always. And, it, and here you have the different, the different parts. You have cheese, milk, coffee, eggs, yogurt, rice, beans, and chicken. If you have to create a sentence with each of them, how would you create it? And here you have one example. I hardly ever have cheese for dinner. Wendy gave me a very good sentence for this one. What was it, Wendy? <laughs> I never drink 
a milk um, for breakfast. Breakfast, good. Hey, <laughs> Jocelyn, what was your sentence for this one? I never eat, uh, drink coffee for dinner. Good. What about this one, Paola? Eggs. I sometimes, I sometimes eat eggs for breakfast. Good. Adela, yogurt. Coffee. And... I eat. I usually eat yogurt for lunch. I usually eat yogurt for lunch. What about rice? Oh, Jocelyn was the example of the rice. Yeah, you gave me a good example for rice. I sometimes eat rice for lunch. Yes, very good example. Claudia, beans. I often yeah, eat rice in the dinner. Yeah, but what about beans? Ruth, ah. I am going to give Ruth the example of the beans. Ruth, give me the example of the beans. The beans. Yes. Um, I usually the beans. I usually it beans in the morning in the morning and paola because you're falling asleep give me one example for chicken paola para que no no duerma paola chicken my father usually usually eat chicken good my father usually eats chicken and the last questions that i have for you what is your favorite kind of food? What is your favorite restaurant? What do you usually have at the restaurant? Do you make dinner for your family? And what is your favorite snack? Okay, I am going to send you these questions and you are going to answer them uh, in couples, right? I am going to send you to work in couples. It's a very short thing. And we're going to answer these four, uh, sorry, five questions, right? We're going to answer these five questions. Sorry for the flash. I am sending you a picture on the group, okay? So you are going to answer these five questions in, in the group. I am going to make two groups of people and you are going to answer the questions with your group. I send you the questions in the chat right now and you are going to answer them. We have two groups starting right now. Go ahead. I will send you the questions. There we go. Here we go. Good. So all the different students are in the groups. They are discussing the different questions and we are going to go to the groups to see how they are doing. Let's go and listen. Yes. Okay. Um, the first is, uh, what's your favorite kind of food? It's kind. Kind. Tipo de comida. That's kind. Uh, thanks. Favorite. Um, 
Um, ¿Cada quien o, o vamos a hacer una, una sola respuesta? Ok, no the sé. idea is that you have to discuss, you say, for example, what's your favorite kind of food? And then you say like, well, my favorite kind of food is this one and the other one, and you discuss like a little group. Okay, it's not a specific person for the questions. If not, you say like, what is the first question? What's my favorite kind of food? And Adela says uh, Chinese food or Salvadorian food, Mexican food. And then you go to the next question and, and on and on and on and on. Okay. What's your favorite kind of food? Adela. <laughs> Good, very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, my favorite kind of food is favorite. My favorite. My favorite okay. kind of food is Mexicana. Mexican. Kind. Kind. Mexican. Kind. Tenemos que utilizar el kind. Es 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 correct say my favorite is Mexican food. It is correct. You can say my favorite uh, is uh, my favorite is Mexican because you say my favorite kind of food in the question. But to make a correct answer, you say my favorite kind of food is Mexican. That's optional. Uh. Yes, thanks. It's correct to say I like I like Mexican food. It's correct as well. Yes. My favorite. My favorite. Kind of food. I I I usually Eat in my favorite restaurant. Yo usualmente como en mi restaurante favorito. ¿Cuál? I, I eat in my restaurant every Saturday. Así okay. es. Do you ever make a dinner for the family? Okay, the uh, girls in that question is like, what is your favorite restaurant, right? ¿Cuál es tu restaurante favorito? And in the next question you have, what do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? ¿Qué es lo que normalmente piden at your favorite restaurant? So that's the difference. Okay. Okay. It's correct. I usually have, uh -huh. have a um, burger and fries. Yeah, you say I usually have a burger and fries. Yes, that's very good. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. And sometimes, algunas veces. I sometimes, sometimes have. I sometimes I, have. I, I sometimes have. Así. Mm -hmm. okay. I sometimes have what? Pero ahí me tendrías que decir qué es lo que comes. Imagine that you tell me, I, my favorite restaurant is uh, Mexican, Pizza. for example. Uh -huh. Okay, and you say, I always have tacos. Because that's your favorite, right? Or I always have pizza. If your favorite restaurant is an American restaurant, right? Mm -hmm. You say, I always have pizza. I always have hamburgers, right? That's the specific form. Continue, continue. Okay. Okay. I usually have a favorite restaurant in... Pizza. Have a burrito. Yeah. Oh. I you usually eat. Aha. Uh -huh. What do you have at your favorite restaurant? Ahí nos yes. estamos dando duro. <laughs> <laughs> so in that yeah. question, you say I usually have. I usually have. 
tacos. I usually have pizza. I usually have, mm, I don't know, depending on your favorite restaurant. Okay, entonces estaba bien, pero yo le puse, I usually have a burrito. El, es el A, no. I usually Maybe. have a burrito. Yes, it's if you eat only one, right? Or I usually have burritos. <laughs> Solo uno. Se <laughs> <laughs> so you say I usually have a burrito, right? A burrito, uh, right? I usually burrito. have a burrito. Burrito. Don't be burrito. Okay. You are going to say to your kids. Don't be burrito. Do you... Y y um, usted de la o Jocelyn. Your, I usually have tacos. I usually have tacos. Good. Okay. I usually mm. have lomito con verduras. Yeah, lomito with vegetables. In that case, is meat with vegetables. Meat with vegetables. It's Chinese food. Only yeah. I am. I am not going. Say. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I. I love. I love guantanes. I. I could eat yes. only the guantanes. And, and it was yes. funny because in the previous class, well, uh, for the next question that I have for everybody, you are going to be surprised. Well, I'm going to send everybody back so we can discuss as a group, okay? Let's go back. We are back. We are back here. So, for anybody in the room, okay? Cualquiera me puede responder. Anybody in the room. What is your favorite kind of food? What is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is Mexican. Mexican, good. What is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is... Burger? Oh, well, in that case, it's American, American food. American food. Okay. It, it says like my favorite kind. 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 Good. Another okay. example. What is your favorite kind of food? My favorite kind of food is um, chicken. Mm, well, that case it will be like, what is your favorite kind? The qué tipo sería esa? Salvadorian. Carnivora. <laughs> Salvadorian food. Salvadorian food. You say my favorite type is Salvadorian. Good. Carnivora, you say. No, I go que caníbal de casi. Come on. Okay. I am going to omit the next question, right? <laughs> because of the commercials. What is your favorite restaurant? The one for pizza, the one for hamburgers, My the one for... My favorite is Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, the pizza, the pizza, right? They are pizza. not giving me anything for the commercial. <laughs> okay, Pizza Hut, good. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is La Calaca. La Calaca, right? <laughs> they are not paying anything for this commercial. Thank you very no. much. <laughs> okay, do you like uh, hamburger restaurants? Yes. El Wendy's. Okay. Yeah. It's my restaurant. <laughs> Wendy's <laughs> restaurant. Very yeah, good. Yeah, good. <laughs> and they are not paying anything for this commercial as well. Good. <laughs> So I am going to jump to the next question. What do you usually have in your favorite restaurant? Every Saturday. Every Saturday you have a hamburger. Yes. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you are so thing. Okay. No. Yo paso enfrente y ya tres libras. Good. Yeah, because you're like very thin. Come on. No, wow. Paola is very thin. Imagine if you eat hamburgers every Saturday. Hey. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see. Wendy, what do you usually have at your favorite restaurant? Ah, uh, one. I'm. Yo entendí distinta la pregunta. 
Así que la tengo diferente. Uh -huh. I usually have a burrito. No, that's good. I usually have a burrito. It says Paola has one hamburger every Saturday. Mm. Oh, she says. Barbara. <laughs> that's, that's How old are you? I'm not, I can't. Two hamburgers. Baby, can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, all my three. Serio, it was not like. <laughs> 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 Okay. No, but that's enjoy, cool. Baby. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy it, enjoy, enjoy it. it. Adela, <laughs> what do you have in your favorite restaurant? Um, I told you, I told you. Meat and ah yes, meat with, with vegetables. Vegetables, right? Meat with, meat with vegetables. vegetables. Meat with vegetables, okay? Meat with vegetables. Vegetables. Meat with vegetables. 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 Yes, there you go. Or you can say veggies. Veggies, that it's easier. Veggies. Que son vegetales as well, pero es una forma como informal. Veggies. Okay, but vegetables is the original form. And now, the final question that I have here. Let me see. What is your favorite snack? ¿Cuál es su merienda favorita? What is your favorite snack? My favorite snack is churritos. Burrito, <laughs> nachos with Coca Cola. Okay. <laughs> you know what is my favorite snack? Ice with lemon. Nachos. Yeah, I like ice, ice with lemon. I mean, it's like the minuta, right? Um, ice, minuta. ice with lemon. No, but in some I, cases, I, I, nachos. nachos or tacos. Nachos with lemon. Nachos. Yes. yes. And chilies. And I washed it. It's very good <laughs> as well. You can put... inglesa. <laughs> I don't like black pepper, but with lemon and chili, ah. that's very good. Yeah, but in some cases, if I don't have the minuta, I, I just put the lemon in, in, in some ice and I just eat it like that. My husband is like... Oh. Yeah, I like it. Me too. I, I am very cheap on that one. And the final question. In the previous class, people were very like astonished and they were like, what? Of the next question. What is something that you eat that many people find strange? What is something that you eat that many people find strange? And it's like, huh? Really? Do you eat that? Uh -huh. My example was, I like Kentucky chicken with honey. Mm -hmm. I like Kentucky oh. chicken with honey. Awful. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and, and I, just put the, I just put the honey in a little cup, in like, like if it is ketchup, and I put the chicken there, but only Kentucky chicken, not Campero or the other chickens, right? No, only that one, right? And that's a guilty pleasure that I like. What is something that you like? Um, because in the past, ooh, in the past, they used to give you honey for the breads, okay? Para los panes de papa. They used to give you honey, but I used to um. put that in the chicken and it was very good. Hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a very crazy combination, <laughs> and I like it. But what is that a strange thing that you eat that many people find uh, strange? Huh? ¿Qué es eso curioso? Uh -huh. Jocelyn? I usually eat uh, soup rice mm -hmm. in the morning. Rice soup in the morning. Yes. Okay. Yeah, like, pero no es como la, la sopa que le dicen como arroz aguado. 
Eh, es sopa de arroz. Sopa de arroz, eh, ajá. Con papa. Ajá. Sí, con papa, tomate. Ajá. Sopa, sí. In the morning. You see? Guilty In the pleasure. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Good, very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. I eat at 3 a.m. Ice cream. Ice cream at 3 a.m. A las 3 de la mañana. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Do you see? Uh -huh. <laughs> Claudia, what is that a strange thing that you eat and many people find it strange? Um, I do in uh, Tony Romas. Uh -huh. The hamburger, the onions, uh -huh. um, caramelado, how do you say? Oh, oh sweet, sweet onion. Uh -huh. ah, yeah. the... Sweet, sweet onions. Uh -huh. Caramel onion. Caramel onion. Caramel onion. Mm. And they are very good. They are very good. Uh -huh. Ruth, what is your strange food that you like to eat? I am a normal person. I am a normal person, you say. You say, I, I put... Um, huh? Sandwich de atún. Uh -huh. Tuna sandwich. Tuna sandwich. Just that, in the morning. Mm, okay, the I like. Con café, con café. Oh, with coffee. Well, the coffee. That's different, that's different. Yeah, I have to accept that that's different. Adela, what is that a strange thing that you like to eat and not many people like it? Uh -huh. Adela. <laughs> eh, uh -huh. ice cream ice cream chocolate with chocolate chocolate oh, but... <laughs> ah okay 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 well, yeah yeah many people like it so I, I know a friend who puts curtido in the eggs que come huevos con curtido. Ya. Yeah. And it's like, okay. I put lemon on the tamales. En Guatemala. Es Guatemala. Guatemala. Yeah, and, and no, it's, 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 very, it's very common in Santa Ana that you put lemon in the tamal. Oh, Santa Ana, next Guatemala. It's next to Guatemala, right? We have like the yes. same crazy thing. I have another friend. Yes. I put uh, salsa negra too. Black sauce in the tamal. In the tamales, yes. My goodness. So you see, those I are the. the what? <laughs> what? Cuente, <Huh? laughs> <laughs> 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 hombre, para que nos riamos. Tequila, que, que hay tequila en esa taza, ¿cómo fue? <risa> ok, eso será un misterio para todos. Mañana voy a ver el video y voy a volver a descifrar qué me dijo Paola. <risa> ok, good. So, eh, these are the different things, right? I have a friend who eats orange with mustard, right? Orange, the fruit, but he puts mustard on it. Le pone mostaza. And it's, I consider it horrible. My husband eat um, rice with mayonnaise. Rice with mayonnaise. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I have heard about rice with cream, but with mayonnaise. Yeah, mayonnaise. Mm. Um, yeah. It's see, like the uh, like the pupusas with ketchup. Ah, uh, uh, San, San Michael. In, in San Michael, right? In San Michael. Yes, San. 
Martín San Miguel. Sí. They, they, Han Miguel. Han Miguel. They, they, they eat, well, they combine pupusas with ketchup and black sauce. And mayonnaise. mayonnaise. Exactly like that. Well, but you see, yeah, each person with each of the things. Okay, we're going to go over the last topic that we have for these units. And this is our final unit. It is sports and abilities. And I have different uh, questions for you. Do you like sports? What is your yes. favorite sport? Do you practice that sport? And what is your best ability, right? We have these four questions for all of you. And you are going to answer these questions taking turns. What is the difference between sports and abilities? Abilities are the things that you can do very well. For example, if you can sing, if you can dance, if you can cook, if you can create poems, if you can act, if you can uh, use the computer, if you can create TikToks, if you can create videos, those are abilities, right? And sports are the ones that you play, right, normally. The first question for all of you girls, do you like sports? Yes. Yes, yes, only one, yes. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Claro que yes, yes good. Okay, yes, yes I, I do. What is your favorite sport? And we're going to go one by one. What is your favorite sport, uh, Wendy? My favorite sport is a walk, walking, and run, walking, walking and, and running. running, walking and running. Yes. Adela, what is your favorite sport? My favorite favorite sport is softball, soccer, or softball, 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 combating. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Ruth, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is Mami. Mami. Soccer. Mami. Soccer. Good. Porque no hablaste. <laughs> Qué linda. <laughs> well, Jocelyn, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is soccer. Soccer. Good. Claudia, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport is basketball. Okay, my favorite sport is basketball. And Paola? Uh, my favorite sport is basketball. Okay, your favorite sport is basketball. Two, two. Two and two. two. We have two yes. soccer, two <laughs> basketball, okay? Okay, good. Yes. And two softball, good. That's very nice. Well, my favorite sport is basketball. I really like basketball, but my favorite top one is billiards. I love billiards. Aunque me digan, eso no es de niñas. It's okay. I Billar. Love it. Yes. You can. I can play. I can play. And I really like it. I play with my husband whenever we have the time. Yes, we are very good at that. Yes. I have a friend. I have a friend who has a table, a billiards table, and we, we sometimes play there. But if I go to a restaurant or to a place that has a, a, a billiards pool, I go and play with my husband. And they say, uy, pero eso es para hombres. And I say like, it's not true. It's not true. And it's very interesting. Yeah. It's very nice. I really like it. Right. I am not the top one, but. I, I love to play that. That's good. <laughs> so, do you practice that sport? Adela, do you practice softball? No. Not anymore. No. Jocelyn, do you practice softball? <laughs> do you practice soccer? I hardly ever. I hardly ever. Claudia, do you practice your favorite sport? Sometimes. Sometimes. Ruth? Sorry? On the weekend. The weekend. Okay. Paola, do you practice your favorite sport? Sometimes. Sometimes. And Wendy? 
Sometimes. Sometimes. And the last one. What is your best ability? <laughs> what is your best ability? The best. <laughs> What is your best my, ability? My best ability is cook. cooking. 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 Good. Very good. Your best ability is cooking. What is your best ability? Let's see. Origami. Oh, doing origami. Hey, that's nice. That's really nice and that's difficult, right? It's very difficult to, to make origami. 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 Yes. Let me see. Ruth, what is your best ability? No tengo oh, really? Come on. You should have at least one. Yo creo que todos tenemos aunque sea una. Yeah, sleeping is not an ability. Okay? That's a necessity. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, sleeping with kids, it's an ability. Yeah, it's... A <laughs> yes. Yes. Let's see. Um, Adela, what was your best ability? What was your best ability? Uh -huh. <laughs> Working with numbers. Um, Juego de palabras? Word games. Scrabble. Word games. Okay, Scrabbles and all these things. Like, uh, you are very good at that. Good, very good. Wendy, what did you say that was your best ability? Cooking or dancing or what? I, I imagine dancing and cooking. Dancing and cooking and jostling. Uh, my best ability is dancing and dancing. sacar de quicio a mis hermanos. <laughs> <laughs> dancing, dancing and, and bothering your brothers. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, that's an ability, definitely. That's an ability. <laughs> That, that's definitely no that that's a talent definitely <laughs> yes yes that's a talent well, cuando se, cuando se case, well speaking english <laughs> an ability. it's an ability as well wait give me just a second sorry i was fighting with with a, a little kid okay there you go that's, that's my best ability to survive the classes without uh, <laughs> without uh, getting crazy. <laughs> That's my best ability. Good. So there are different sports and different abilities and different talents, right? I am going to show you right now, just in general, uh, a list of sports that I am going to share with you. And in this one, we have many different sports, right? We have many different sports. I was collecting them for you. And in this case, we have many different words and names and everything of uh, related to sports. For example, we have archery, right? That is the one that you play, <laughs> archery. Athletics, athletics and can be track and field. There are like different forms of athletics, right? Uh, badminton, baseball, basketball, boxing, chess, ajedrez. It's also a, a sport. Shooting. Cricket, skiing, cycling, diving, mountain biking, equestrian. Uh, we also have fencing. Fencing is the, the one that we play with a mask and with a big spade, right? Fencing on guard. This is fencing. The next one we have. Which one? Rock. Uh, how do you say rock and. Rock climbing. Rock climbing is when you go on a wall. 
Hay una pared que tiene cabalas rocas y tú vas subiendo así. Rock climbing, uh, that's a sport. Sailing, velero, running. Right? Thank you. <laughs> rugby, rugby is a combination of soccer and American football, but with no protection. Right? Aquí no hay protección. Es de alto impacto. Es una combinación de soccer y American football. Pools and billiards is the ones that I was explaining. Polo, paintball. Paintball is a sport too. Kayaking. Karate, we are. Right, judo, jogging. Jogging is when you go running, right? That's jogging. It's kayaking. kayaking. Kayaking is when you go in a little boat with your friends, que se hace como en, en ríos bastante extremos, and you go on a boat, and you go swimming on both sides. Uh, you go inside the boat. It's pretty, I don't know, crazy. Uh, ice hockey, right? Ice hockey, hockey sobre hielo, horse racing, gymnastics, golf, soccer, football, skating, field hockey, right? These are like uh, hockey, pero el que se juega en, 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 en calle. And the last ones that we have here, like sky jumping. This is one game that I will never do. Que vas en un avión, en un avión y de repente te tiras a la nada. I will never do that one. I am very coward. Snowboarding, right? We cannot do that one in El Salvador because we don't have snow, right? That's the only little problem. No hay nieve aquí. We cannot do snowboarding, right? Right. Softball is the one that Adela was mentioning. Sumo wrestling, peleas, sumo. Surfing, swimming, table tennis, que es ping pong, right? Table tennis. Bowling. Boliche. And tennis, that is the normal tennis, right? The triathlon that you swim, cycle, and run, right? Volleyball, water polo, and weight lifting. Weight lifting is levantamiento de pesas, right? Weight lifting. So tomorrow, I am going to share the complete list with all of you. And you can find it there in Google. You can find, for example, a lot of pictures. You can put the name of the sport, and then you are going to find the pictures of them. We are going to discuss the different uses of do, play, and go with the sports. So that it's going to be in tomorrow's class. Okay, my dear students, I will have to stop right now. I si a mí me dejan, no da la una en la mañana aquí aprendiendo. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to stop right now and we are going to see uh, all these different topics tomorrow in the next class, okay? Have a beautiful night. And I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful bye. night. Bye-bye. See you. Tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.